Okay, we're just a couple of days left until the Super Bowl, and I know a lot of you are as excited to see what's going to happen in Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady as I am. And the overarching storyline here, aside from the massive difference in age, is could Patrick Mahomes be the next Tom Brady? Uh, And that's despite the fact the first time Tom Brady was in the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes uh, was in kindergarten when Tom Brady started in college. Uh, Patrick Mahomes was not yet born, I believe, is, uh, is the way that goes. So there's a big generational age gap between Brady and Mahomes. But who wins this game, to me, is not going to be the most lasting impact to come out of this game for purposes of changing, potentially, the way the NFL is organized right now. In fact, what is going to continue to be the number one overriding story, I think, is a lot of NFL executives sitting back and saying, man, Tom Brady, one guy, went and changed the entire trajectory of, of the Tampa Bay Buccaneer franchise. We don't need to go into the draft and have a perfect draft and wait three or four years for our young talent to develop. We just need the right quarterback. That's certainly the gamble that the Rams have taken with Matthew Stafford. That also, I believe, is the gamble that several teams could be interested in taking going forward. Patriots, Bears, Colts, 49ers, Dolphins, Washington, and Saints. Those are, to me, depending on what uh, Drew Brees decides to do, those are the seven teams that are out there right now that are good enough to feel like with a new quarterback we could potentially win the Super Bowl. Again, those teams, the Patriots, the Bears, the Colts, the 49ers, the Dolphins, Washington, and the Saints. So that storyline is hanging out there. But the Colts' storyline may have a little bit of sizzle because – We talked about Jim Ursay, I believe it was last week, when Jim Ursay came out and gave a lot of interesting quotes about Andrew Luck. And what did I say on this radio program? I said, to me, this is Jim Ursay sending a public message to Andrew Luck that he would love to have him back in uh, Indianapolis. No great surprise there. But the internet now has taken off Massive rumors. We're going to talk with my guy, Joe Kenzie, who writes at OutKick in the third hour of this program. We will dive into this a bit more with him. But we have now entered into the Ferris Bueller universe of internet speculation. If you remember in Ferris Bueller, uh, in the uh, the class when there's a, uh, you know, my sister's boyfriend's best sister, whatever it is, uh, when there was the talk about why Ferris Bueller wasn't in school, well... There now is some sizzle out there. Reportedly, according to internet rumors, this is a fun one, not a bad one. Andrew Luck's wife is saying that her husband misses football and that he's had a meeting with Jim Ursay. Where does this come from? Alleged text message screenshots that are up on OutKick from uh, along this, uh, this story. Quote, My wife has a mutual friend with Nicole's best friend, which is the wife of Andrew. I think this answers a lot of our questions. This was Sunday or uh, yesterday. I'm not sure. And so there are now a lot of uh, tweets about there, uh, out there about Andrew Luck potentially being interested about coming back. Now, what did Jim Ursay say? We know 100% what, Jim Ursay said. Last week, Ursay said, it stands where it stands. Andrew's retired. He knows we would love to have them him back, but only he could ever answer that question. This was last Wednesday. Jim Ursay also said, he knows we would love to have him back, uh, but only he can answer his question deep in his heart and soul. Hey, do I really want to come back and be a quarterback for the Colts again in the NFL? It's easy for us. He knows how much we'd love to have him be our quarterback. I don't really know if we'll see that. I think he's happy. He's raising his daughter. He has a wonderful family. He's a great Colt. This is Jim Ursay, the owner of the Colts. He knows that he can come back anytime he wants, but at the same time, we respect he's made that decision. So, I said last week when we were talking about this, I said, look, you can criticize Jim Ursay all you want. But I don't think Jim Ursay last week 
would have decided to come out publicly and even raise the issue of Andrew Luck coming back unless he thought potentially that Andrew Luck was out there talking about it. Because what Jim Ursay does by publicly discussing it is help to drive up potentially the interest in Andrew Luck because everybody out there is so excited to hear about it. It helps to drive up the fever pitch. Plus, there's a little bit of evidence out there. Matthew Stafford, the Colts didn't really go after him aggressively. We talked with Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated earlier this week on the show, and Albert said, look, Carolina went after him aggressively. The Washington football team was after him aggressively. There were eight teams that were willing to make a play for Andrew Luck. The Colts, arguably, made as much sense as anybody because Phillip Rivers has retired. Jacoby Brissett's contract is up. They don't really have anybody ready to step in at all. I don't think Jacob Eason is the answer. And so the expectation out there was that the Colts would make an aggressive play coming after Matthew Stafford. But then it didn't happen. Why would the Colts not have made a run at Matthew Stafford? Maybe it's because they think there's a possibility that Andrew Luck's going to come back. And if they wait between now and when the draft happens, if they want to make a move and they know Andrew Luck is saying no, then basically if Luck doesn't come back now, he's probably never coming back, right? Because the situation is perfect for Andrew Luck to return at this point in time. So they could wait until the draft, decide to trade up, maybe put a couple of packages together. Maybe they talk about Matt Ryan, Maybe there's somebody else out there that they're interested in. But in the meantime, if you've got an all-pro caliber quarterback in Andrew Luck who could potentially come back healthy with a remade offensive line with Jonathan Taylor who is becoming a revelation at the running back position, this Colts team is a quarterback away from being able to contend for a championship. Why in the world would Andrew Luck not be interested in in making the move and potentially joining right now. I think there's something to these rumors. I think Andrew Luck to the Colts might possibly happen. 